Any resemblance between this riot of color and a circus sideshow is purely intentional. For this is Cypress Gardens, Florida, and these flashy runabouts are being groomed for an aquatic mixture of mayhem and madness called an outboard steeplechase. On dry land, the lads working over their outfits look almost normal, but wait till they take the wheel. Mad as hatters, every one of them. These refugees from a padded cell are some of the best stunt drivers in the country, and that means we're slated for action, but plenty. And here's a call to beauty. Grab your coats and get your hats, fellas. Time's a wasting. Russell now as the boys line up for a weight check. And why not, with cover gal Martha Mitchell recording the vital statistics. How come the boys have to weigh in? Well, it seems that the boat, motor, and driver weights have been balanced out so that all combinations scale the same. That way, everybody hits the starting line with the same brake. When marvelous Martha adds up two and two and doesn't get five, the boys get the good race-keeping seal of approval. The average race course is a smooth oval. There's people from the road to ruin. That's why these top skip and jump artists sit up and take notice of this briefing section. They've been in a lot of races, but never one like this. If this character is on the level, besides the boat, they're going to need a flying saucer and a pair of roller skates to complete the circuit. All formalities attended to, the boys are raring to go, and it's just about zero hour. Time for the big race to start. Rendezvous above the starting line, let's go. Hello, here comes Trouble sooner than we expected. It's the Mercury Kid and he's having some difficulty with the way his boat is steering. Time out to adjust control. Low man on the totem pole, Speedy here, hasn't even started up yet. Oh, he couldn't start till he had that rope in his foot. If the course doesn't get him, the stogie will. I could be wrong, but wasn't that blood I saw in his eye? Meanwhile, the Mercury Kid is, hey, look out! Which is one way to cool off on a hot day. What a great pair of race partners these two guys are going to make. Now all boats are coming into line as they enter the approach to the start. These are stock engines, but they're really moving. There's a huge crowd on hand for the race, lining the shore of the vast natural amphitheater, and all eyes are on the drivers. Here's the flag, and they're off. And it's a beautiful start. They're in perfect formation as they come past the line. Every throttle jammed wide open. Every driver gunning for the advantage of the lead as they streak down the first leg of the course. Two boats, Nuts and Mercury Kids, ride the inside track to an early lead with Nuts holding a slight edge and the Cypress Jump coming up. And over they go. And there's action for you as the devil drivers defy the law of gravity. And close after them, this trio of drivers jockeying for position. And now they're airborne with all the soaring grace of birds in flight. Swinging out and flying low, they thread their way along the Cypress-studded shoreline. The kids still leading the pack. And he's number one over the narrow gauge brush jump. Still the top challenger comes nuts, following through with a flawless jump. And here they come, the devil drivers on parade, blasting over the jumps at full throttle. Every driver risking his neck in an all-out effort to close the gap, take the lead. Tough, but oh so pretty, describes this course. Our boats look like thick peppermint sticks against the midnight blue of Lake Eloise. Played with automobiles, this popular pastime is known as wrinkle fender. With boats, it's scatter plank. 
And in this case, the boys aren't kidding. Trying to move in on the kid here is the cheroot smoking buddy who gave him a free wash job before the race. And not doing too well at it as the kid zigzags and sprays him with his rooster tail. Better break it up, fellas. Looks like another one of those things coming up. Running third and fourth, Static and Thunderbolt, and they clear the jump like thoroughbred. Never a dull moment. That's life in the cockpit of one of these rainbow runabouts. If you don't break your neck going over the jump, you strain it, keeping track of the guy on your transom. A fork in the road, and it's driver's choice. The rule book doesn't say what to do in a case like this, so some take the high road, some take the low road. Parting is such sweet sorrow, but not half as sad as getting together again if you do it like this. Wow! That is a reasonably accurate facsimile of a head-on collision. They float through the air with the greatest of ease. That makes six all present and accounted for. Outboard round the bend as this driver follows the marking buoy back onto the single course. Dead band hollow. There's a hairpin turn here and they come sliding in at full throttle. Another pair swinging wide. He can't make it and it's lightning smashing into the bank, rolling head over heels. But he's not hurt and he's trying to get back into the race and he does get his motor started. Lightning, after a bad spill, comes back on the rebound. They're past the halfway mark now and pretty well bunched. Thunderbolt's in trouble. The steering gear is loosened up on him. He's putting pressure on it to see if it'll take it. He's out of control. Death of a speedboat. After one split second of rending wood and tearing canvas, the gaily colored speedster lies crushed and broken beyond repair in the shadows of the giant cypress that destroyed her. Too bad, fella. One gone, five remain. Things are happening. Thunderbolt out, and now Nutkeer has grabbed the lead from Mercury Kid. Through Driftwood Channel, it has to be single file. But there's open water coming, and there may be a hot contest for the lead. Not leading, coming out of the channel, but the kid is moving up to make his bid, and Static is also challenging. But it's Mercury Kid riding whip on him. They're running neck and neck now, and the kid is crowding him. He doesn't just want the lead, he wants nuts out of the race. He's working him in closer and closer toward the shore. It's drop back or bulldog it out for nuts. A shot of land or a stand of cypress now, and Nuts is in real trouble. There's a dock looming up. He has to go inside. Nuts gambled and took the inclined boat ramp alongside the dock and made up the beautiful jump. Murder Incorporated is ganging up on somebody again. Pear Shape is getting the business this time, and Nuts is proving he'd rather dish it out than take it. These boys are playing for keeps now. Pear Shape gives her the gun, trying to get out of the pocket. But he's too late. He bails out. And that's all for Pear Shape. Two away, four still in the running. Flashing and bouncing across the wake, the kid takes one on the solar plexus. Lightning riding high, wide, and handsome. Nuts living up to its name with a great skip bounce, trying to regain that lead. Watch it. That's dangerous, riding the center of that wake. She digs in, and there goes Nuts out of the race. Nuts, number three to go. Around the point here comes the lead boat. It's the Mercury Kid, way out front. Red flag marks the crossing, a tough one. Here he comes. And he's waterborne again. Wait a minute. The kid's in trouble. He, he's, well, what is he doing? 
Oh, no, not that. Shades of Hopalong Cassidy. Well, if it works, he wins himself a boat race. He may be corny, but maybe he's not so crazy at that. The plot thickens. What ho! The posse arrived on the scene and rears back on his punches. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered, but not for long. Here they come, lightning and static in a double-barreled assault, and he's aiming right for the sign. Wham! Right square on the button. And it's still plastered against his face. If he tried it a thousand times, he couldn't do that again. Curses, foiled again, and they're still coming. The kid's out front, but lightning's closing in as they hit the stretch. The kid kicks up a weight to stop him, but lightning blasts right through it and shades him over the last jump of the race. Mercury Kid and Static right behind him. At the finish line, the crowd picks up the roar of the engine, streaking past the last boy. And they're all set for a slam-bang finish. Dick Polk, Mr. Cypress Gardens, in person as flagman. And it's lightning in a flying finish. And boy, has he got a reception committee. Mercury Kid places. He put up a tough game fight all the way. Static shows. And it's a real honor just to finish. Official Heroes Welcome rates flowers and trophies presented by Florida Beauty. But that's not all. Formal voting tradition has its inning, too. And it's our hero who pays, as the also-rans color him and he gets the old Eve Hall. Note that form as he gracefully lands on his head. Naturally, the appropriate thing to throw to a man struggling in the water is an anchor, even if it is of flowers. That's okay, partner. You may be all wet now, but that was a boat race. Thank <laughs> you.